Good morning, everybody. It's Diana at Catherine Diana Studios, and I have another haul video. Like I mentioned in the other one, you know, I don't go out and spend a lot of money, usually. But sometimes I just go out and I find good deals and I get lucky. So I went for it. <laughs> so Because I really don't get out of the house as much. I mean, I do, but not for personal fun, you know. Let me rephrase that. You know, I'll go for walk and hikes and things like that. But, you know, um, I'm not going out shopping and doing doing stuff like that. I'm leaving to go to work or I'm going to go volunteer or something like that. So, so I'm getting out of the house. It's springtime. The sun is out. It's beautiful. The birds are chirping. And I'm like, let's get some fresh new stuff. Um, so I got some fabrics and I got paper pads and some, uh, Tim Holtz stuff. Now this wasn't on sale, but I got all this at Joann's yesterday and, um, I had some great coupons. You know, if you are not part of their rewards program, um, you know, get their app if you can. And there's all kinds of rewards. And I ended up with, um, you get so much off per X number of dollars purchase you get so much off with the coupons. You get a 40 off of one item. You get 20% off your entire purchase. You know, if you're active duty or retired military, they'll give you a military discount. Um, and call in your area and see if they do like a senior day too. A lot of stores do. So um, anyway, so I went in yesterday. I had a little bit of time after I dropped my husband off doing, doing something else. And uh, so this is what I came up with. So I thought I'd share it with you. It's just beautiful, beautiful fabrics and stuff. So I'm gonna start with this. Again, these were not on sale, but with my coupons and stuff, um, I ended up saving, I forgot. I forgot, I don't remember exactly how much. You know, I've got the receipt around here somewhere. Is that it? No, but anyway. Um, so, uh, grab some more of these. Actually, I didn't have this. I hope there's not a lot of glare. I try to hold them down because when I do that, you get glare. So, lots of beautiful. Can you see what all is included? And they were only, they weren't expensive at all. They were like either $4.99 or $6.99. I can't remember. So, that's a decent amount of ephemera. That's, that's pretty thick. That's a lot. You know, we're spending $6.99, you know, when we go out and get a pack of, you know, just... Uh, you know, these kinds of things. Obviously, these were specialty. These were at Hobby Lobby, and they were above 99 But you know what I mean. Normally, we go out and we buy just a pack of stickers that might be only from this wide over. And if we get them on sale, we might save 40%. But if we don't, you know, we're paying $4.99, $5.99, $6.99. So this is a pretty good deal. There's a lot of stuff there. So I got that. Oh, and you know what? I got this too. I'm doing another video with this, with these on my hands again, because my hands are still so dry. It's been so uh, cold, cold here and just... The, the wind and so I don't know if you guys look for this at your local Dollar Tree it works really great um, so does just using like either Vaseline or mineral oil and then put you know the hair dye vinyl um, gloves the gloves type the types of the little gloves you'd wear if you're coloring your hair or something like that put those on and overnight have them on and your hands can look brand new in the morning and just so lovely but um, anyway this stuff works great it's just it's coconut oil and some mineral oil and um, they carry it. And I think I have, someone's working their way into my studio. All of a sudden my door, did you hear it creaking? I'm like, who's coming in? And it's no one. So I know it's a tiny little dog poking her nose through and I can see her. So anyway, but, um, oh, it's made here too. So there you go. But it's a dollar tree and it's a buck and a quarter. So that's pretty awesome. So I put that on to do this and then I put these on so I don't get all this covered in a little bit of oil, but I, this stuff works great. It's really good. So anyway, um, cause you know, when we're working with paper too, uh, my fingertips after a while, uh, like see how the dry they are there. That's from working with paper cause it, it pulls the oils out of our skin. So here's another one of the Tim Holtz packs. So this one was just a couple bucks too, like four ninety nine, five ninety nine, six ninety nine. You can kind of get an idea. Now I have one of these, but I went ahead and grabbed another one because they're usually sold out. Now that Hobby Lobby doesn't carry these anymore, and Michael's doesn't carry these anymore, Joanne's is the only store around that has it where I live. So, And then I got these because I didn't have these either, and I thought they were really cool. So there's that. And uh, their paper was on sale. It was um, They were all half off. So I got the map, text, and ledgers. And I, I do have this in the bigger one, uh, but I've been using a lot of it. And this was only a couple of bucks. 
with the half off, so I snagged it because there's a lot of really nice papers in there. So, grab that. Grabbed, oh, these little doodads. I grabbed these because of a Tracy Fox video that I just watched the other day. And I'm going to post a link to it when I do the work that she's inspired me to do. It was really cool. But her most recent videos, go I got to her page, um, her YouTube channel. And um, she's got some great stuff out there. So uh, anyway, so I grabbed some of these. It was the only one they had. And a couple of little safety pins. I didn't have any small ones. I used to have even smaller ones, but they're really hard to find. I'm going to have to buy them online. So that's it for that. So... Um, We've got paper, beautiful paper for spring. Uh, what do we got here? Beautiful flowers. I've got these to do circular cuts around the flowers and this and even the sheet music for some of the little embellishments that Tracy Fox made. And I'm going to use them in my garden jewel, uh, garden jewels, garden uh, journals blah, 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 um, that I'm going to be making. And the same for the bees. Now the only thing I have to do is find my tiny little paper punch. I've misplaced it and I don't know where it is and I've been looking for another one just at shops and they don't have it so I'm probably going to have to get one online because I'm, I'm, I've am i been looking for a couple of months and I know it's ended up someplace but I don't know where. And I got this, I thought this was beautiful paper but I like these so I thought well I can just use my uh, round you know paper punch. Um, you know I have like a half inch and I even have like a, I, I think I have a half inch and a three quarter inch and that you know the half inch one would be great to go around and just get these bits. And I would use those to hang off these embellishments that I was talking about that Tracy Fox did. So there's got a couple of those. These always come in handy. Little tag embellishment of some sort. These as well, especially for the travel journals that I do. Hang on, I'm gonna have to do this. It's getting warm in here. I've got the sun behind me. And um, let me grab a quick sip of water. And we haven't had a lot of sun lately, and um, so we're used to it being much colder. And it's almost 60 right now, and I'm roasting <laughs> because it's like I'm not used to it being so warm. So, oh, do these have, nah, some of these have stuff on the back side. But. So I did the same for the butterflies, so I can punch out the butterflies and use those on the embellishments. And the same for the little bugs. Aren't those cute? I thought those were so cute. And then I grabbed these for some... I make all kinds of uh, little journals for little girls. I do, you know, rainbow and unicorn and all that, and they can be used for all kinds of things. And um, these here, um, like that could go in garden. That could go in garden. Um, they can go, and this could be, you know, in a rainbow theme or pride, or it, they all cross over into whatever you like to make. And, um, so, and these, again, at Joanna, Joanne Fabrics, and these were 79 cents. So, not too shabby, and just fussy cut them out, and use them however, or just, you know, even taking just part of it, you know, and make a, a corner, and a journal, or whatever, you know. You know the drill. So, anyway, they turned out really cute, and I thought this was really cute for, like, some of the um, cooking-related uh, foodie journals that I've made. So, that just reminds me of a kitchen, or... You know, that kind of a thing. I don't know why they do. I guess especially this. I remember tablecloths like this back in the day. So, And then I grabbed uh, this here. I thought those were darling uh, to fussy cut. And this too. Doesn't that remind you of your grandma? Depending on how old you are. All of us who are a little bit older. I think a lot of us. This reminds us of our grandmothers. And, and um, you know, I have some quilts like this that have been passed down. So, And some that I find in thrift stores. So, um, I'll buy them, you know, because they're beautiful. They're, somebody put in that work, and I appreciate it so much as a crafter. So, grab these. I thought this was beautiful. Hopefully, it's not a lot of glare. I love, love the color combinations. It's just gorgeous. And then, of course, these stamps. If you don't have postage stamps, you know, grabbing a piece of uh, scrap of paper for 79 cents at, at Joann's. Look at there. You know, it looks like a postage stamp. Perfect. Works great. And then some more hearts. And then another thing of paper. This is the Time Worn Textiles. So these can work for, you know, anything. Garden, boho, straight up junk journal, antique, vintage. You name it, there's something in there for it. So muted colors, a little bit brighter colors. So 
uh, it looks time worn and I, I, you know, hence the name. And I love that. It's really pretty. Um, because I do make also shadow boxes and things and little dioramas. And when uh, I'm going, and, and I make doll houses and um, for Halloween and I make them for, uh, um, well, just to make them. <laughs> no particular theme. And so, you know, I'll use stuff like this as the wallpaper in the background and stuff. So, And then I grabbed some fabrics. These here, are, I'm going to be making some journals. And I needed some more uh, blue uh, fabrics. So I grabbed some of this. Oh, it's so soft and so lovely. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And I don't know if you can see the color. It's such a beautiful blue. I can see that it looks real, you know, bright here, but it's much, much, much darker. If I do it that way, a little more true. This side is too dark. Maybe that color right in there is more authentic to what it really looks like without the lights on it. So I thought that was really fun and pretty, and it's so soft. Um, got some plaid. Get rid of those. Grab some denim. A couple little pieces. Um... Grab this for some travel journal stuff. And I just got like a quarter of a yard for each. They'll sell you a small amount. Uh, and they often have coupons for their fabric or they'll have the so much off if you spend so much, you know. And I got this. I have a lot of paper napkins in animal prints, but um, I didn't have any fabric and I love the, the shine on that. It's really, really pretty. Can you see the glittery? It's beautiful, it's just beautiful. So this is a denim looking fabric, but it's not. So that's pretty cool. And this, thought that was really pretty. And some more for the colorful journals. Love this. I love tie dye. I'm a hippie at heart. So I kind of grew up in that era. I was kind of right in between, so lots of adults that I knew that weren't much older than me <laughs> you know were hippies so it was kind of cool so grab this I thought these were beautiful uh, love this you know all these for garden journals and such and making little bits for snippets and whatnot um, grab this grab this because uh, it's a heavier fabric I love the images and I thought you know these could be a lot of fun to embellish larger pieces or put them on the front of something front of a uh, journal maybe just cut out one word and put it on across a tag I don't know what I'm gonna do exactly but I love it and um, I ended up with I think a half a yard of this it was on sale so I grabbed it but just that fleur de lis or this here it would just really be nice to add on to some of the travel journals or the country French journals that I make I grabbed this because it reminds me of William Morris fabric. This was the only one they had. Uh, you know, a lot of times they'll have, you know, varying colors of a certain pattern. And you can, this is the only thing I could find. And just was so William Morris, yet also so Art Deco. And I can't think of the name of that, that famous um, artist who made, had this, like this in the background with the women from the 20s. And I forgot, I can't remember his name, but... Um, Anyway, it reminded me so much of that. Let me turn it like this way. So, but isn't that just beautiful? So I love the colors. And I um, could use that garden. I could use that so much stuff. You know what I mean? Love that. So much fun. The movement is so pretty. And of course, more flowers for the little journals or little girls journal. I call them journals, but they're journals, but they're like little diaries that I make. Um, and some for little girls, and I made some for kids, uh, you know, who are graduating high school and stuff, a, a journal for their life to get them started, and it's full of uh, empowering quotes, and, you know, sometimes some scriptures if they want something like that, or, you know, I, I've got a video of one um, from a couple of years ago that I made, um, I, I, I'm, I'll have to put the link in the, in the thing, description. But uh, it's really, really pretty. It turned out so beautiful. Uh, and it, it took a lot of, it was a lot of work, man. I didn't realize how much I was putting into that thing. So, but it turned out really great. So uh, here's two more blue and then that's it. So this is it for Joanne's. And I still have one more haul because I ended up going to Hobby Lobby too. I don't go there very often, maybe once or twice a year. 
And I just happened to stop by. It's spring. Like I said, it was beautiful out. There was one right near where the Joanne Fabrics is. They're right down the street from each other. And I was on my way home. And I'm like, oh, what the heck? Stop. So I have one more haul video for that. And then that's probably going to be it for the haul videos. That's it. So I hope you all had a great day. It's St. Patrick's Day. So happy St. Patrick's to you. Have an awesome day. Have a great week. I'll do the other video probably now and just put it out later this week. But I need to get crafting because I got stuff I got to finish up like real quick. <laughs> so anyway, y'all have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.